Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. I am back with another interesting topic in the Tosca automation playlist. Now continuing with our obstacles topic, let's look at our next obstacle, which is called and counting. So in this, we have got a autocomplete text box. So when we type this particular text, which is DDD here, right? You can see that uh, it contains a list of different text, right? So as you uh, keep typing, it will search and find out all the similar uh, text uh, in this particular list, right? So uh, we need to count the entries in this list, and then we need to enter the number of that particular entries uh, in this particular text box, right? So for DDD, you can see there are five entries. So we need to enter here five. And when you enter five, uh, this automation obstacle will be completed. So that's what we need to automate using Tosca, okay? So let's go ahead and do this in Tosca now. Now to make this a little bit easier, I have already uh, scanned this particular module, okay? So let's go through what are the different elements which are present here. So this is the span element, okay? Uh, and it represents this particular text, which we have to enter. Okay, so it is a span element and we will use the inner text to basically grab this text, right? And then we have got uh, this text box, we have got this text box, and then we have also got a list here, right? So that's uh, the elements we have scanned. Uh, you can see this is the autocomplete text box. Then this is the list, okay? So you can see the list uh, item here and this is the underlying list. And then uh, we have got the text box, which is the entry count, right? Now, if I go ahead and look at the properties, uh, one of the things which you need to take care is the title uh, that may be dynamic. So always try to use regular expressions in your title, okay? and then uh, coming to the list item. Now, uh, we have already seen and talked about cardinality. So since uh, these, you can see there are lots of different items here, right? And uh, we are not going to scan each and every item in this list, right? So uh, we can scan just one element type and then we can use the cardinality zero to N, right? So we have increased the cardinality here because we want to count all the elements in that particular list, right? So uh, yeah, so that's that's all uh, you need to do in, the, in your module attributes. And then let's go ahead and create a new test case here now. Okay, so I'm going to rename this to uh, this particular obstacle number. Okay, and then uh, I'm going to drag this module right here. Okay, now uh, this span, uh, as I said, we will be taking the inner text value, which is, contains the actual text, right? For that, uh, we will choose here inner text. And here we will say, or give a uh, text as the value. And what we'll do, we'll change the action mode to buffer. So what it will do, it will uh, grab the inner text and then it will store it in this text value, okay? And then uh, coming to this autocomplete. So here we need to uh, type the text, right? And although you can directly enter the text, uh, that won't work out because uh, it's an autocomplete text box. So in this case, you can use the send keys, right? So what it will do, it will send one key from the keyboard into that particular text box, right? So uh, here uh, we have to use the buffer, which we have stored earlier. So we'll be use a buffer of text here, okay? And this will be our input, right? Now, uh, coming to the list item here, what we'll do is we'll use another property of a list through which we can count the number of items. And that is called the result count, okay? So here we can type the result count property. And here we can again buffer this to a particular buffer value, okay? I will change the action mode to buffer. So the result count 
of this particular list will be stored in this count, right? And once we get the count, then we can directly enter it uh, with the buffer. So buffer of count, right? So a couple of things uh, we have seen, uh, we have to use the send keys instead of uh, directly inputting the text here because uh, it's a autocomplete text box. So we have to enter keys one by one, right? Then we are buffering uh, the inner text uh, from the span element, which becomes our text. And then we are using the result count property for the list uh, items uh, so that we can uh, get the count of all the items, right? And then we are storing it in a buffer and then we are entering that uh, count value into the text box, right? So let's go ahead and execute this now. So as you can see, it uh, entered the text, which is CCC, and then uh, it counted how many uh, CCC are present in that particular list. And then it entered two, which is the number of uh, text which is present in the count here, right? And then this particular obstacle was completed. So this is how you can use different concepts to basically solve uh, your automation problem, right? So you can use the action mode buffer. You can use some properties like the inner text, the result count uh, to get the count of uh, the list of items. And then you can also use the send keys to enter some keys into a autocomplete text box. That's all for this particular video. If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.